Joel? This program is all about fields of energy. But do you know where all that energy comes from? Well, sure. It's produced by the sun, the rain, the air, and plants that grow in the soil. You're absolutely right. And every one of those things interact in something called the carbon cycle. If I remember my science lessons, the carbon cycle involves the air that we breathe, the plants that grow, and the soil. You're right. That's called the biological carbon cycle. Plants absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. They use it with water they get from the soil to make the substances they need for growth. That's photosynthesis, where plants convert carbon into sugars for growth. And during respiration, CO2 goes back into the air. That makes it a cycle. Voila! The animals are part of it too. They eat plants and use the carbon to build their own tissues. They return carbon dioxide into the air when they breathe. Humans, that's us, we're part of it too. We raise animals and plants for food, and we also use energy. Burning fossil fuels in our plants, in our homes, and in our cars releases carbon into the air. There's not an endless supply of fossil fuels, so we have to use renewable energy whenever possible. Growing crops and trees and grasses, and people using renewable energy. All this helps keep the carbon cycle in balance. This is a really complex topic, Suyin. That's right, Joel. And it's something we'll be hearing more about in the future. There's plenty to learn about the carbon cycle on the internet. And science teachers will find plenty to talk about, too. Okay, here's my closing line. The carbon cycle is your friend. Treat it well. Thanks for watching.